Okay, we're going to the London Romance and we'll start off with the card, the Four of Cups, which is showing um, you're bored. Uh, you're currently bored in a relationship that you're in, or you're bored if you're not in a relationship, or something you're finding dissatisfied. Um, you, although you have a lot, there is a lot on offer already, You and there's more being offered to you, you are disillusioned. And because you're disillusioned, he's sitting almost stubborn in a way, sulking. He's missing an opportunity, um, cups or emotions, an opportunity uh, because he's not focused on anything but his boredom or his disillusionment that he's feeling. Then we go on to um, the Nine of Pentacles. And this is a woman that is, it needn't be a woman, it could be a man or a woman, but somebody that's done everything on her own, does it on her own, has everything she needs. And in a love relationship, it's saying that... Um, you could be in a very stable relationship if you're in a present in in one presently. Um, it's very stable. It has everything that you need. It's personally fulfilling. It's satisfying. Um, but you feel alone because this person has everything um, materially, but the, there's no emotions with this. Although she's happy with herself and confident and everything uh, as a person. There isn't the emotions with it, whereas that is the emotion. Somehow there's something missing in the emotions. If you are single, um, you yourself feel confident and have everything in yourself, but you're feeling bored or disillusioned. And then we have the Two of Pentacles saying that you need to make a choice. There's a choice to be made about something in, with regards to your relationship. And um, it's nothing major. These are not major arcana cards. But if you're feeling bored or disillusioned in a relationship, although you're feeling confident within yourself, you need to make a choice about what it is that you're not um, fulfilled by or what it is that is lacking or not there. It's not really a lack. It's just um, it hasn't got the oomph that you're looking for. And if you are single, because you're possibly thinking about lost loves or what it could have been like or something, you could be missing an offer that is, is coming to you, for you, um, even though you're a stable personality and have everything and confident and you're still alone. Uh, you don't have the emotional side. You have the stability in everything else, but not the emotional side. You're alone and you need to make the choice about what it is and where you want to go with regards to relationships. Then we go to work and career. And then we have the card of competition, petty arguments, fighting, confusion, five of wands. It's done with passion and enthusiasm. Um, and there's so much nonsense and petty nonsense. It's a, a minor arcana um, that it, it causes confusion. So in your work and career, um, there's a lot of uh, confusion going around, and arguments and competition. Um, but it and you've been waiting for change. This night is the night of pentacles. Change. Possibly you're wanting an increase or wanting to change jobs. And that's the conflict in yourself. Um, about whether you should or shouldn't. You've been waiting a long time because this is the slowest night of them all. He's stable. He brings the message about work and career, changeable things, money, things we live with every day. But he's slow. He, he, his horse is standing still. So the wait is long and the change isn't there. So there's definite conflict, but it's going to come because there's the, the Ten of Swords. So that's the last sword being cast. I mean, you feel backstabbed, betrayed, um, stabbed in the back. Uh, it's a Ten, it's the end of the cycle. So from afar, you've moved on to a cycle Ten where you've been standing dead. So if it is a career... There was a lot of competition in you. The change just didn't come. It just was stagnant. And um, it's come to an end. And this is using your mouth to speak, your thoughts, um, it's mental agility. Um, the decisions made, the swords cut very painful. It, it was very painful to get to this position. But um, it's for the good because... You can't go any further than this. It's the end of the cycle. And as you can see, the darkness is lifting and the light is coming through. 
it could also be um, promotion, you know, arguments about promotions, waiting that's never come through, and then deciding that's it, you've had enough, you're going to change, 360, change your career, move on, or the promotions being taken away from you because you feel the trade is stabbing the back. And that's a very painful feeling, um, not something that uh, one wants to go through, but that's what the cards are saying. And then for investments and finances and possible purchases that are investments, uh, big assets, cars, anything like that, property, it says the world, you start off with the world, um, the world could also be uh, traveling for your investments because she's tra going through the door. It's, she has all the elements at her disposal. Um, it's a new cycle, starting new investments in career, maybe something new, but feeling like you're on top of the world, uh, moving through the gate on top of the world and into the new cycle. You have two infinity signs and um, yeah, the two ones as well to wheel your way through to your new um, finance uh, decision and then we have negotiations the three of pentacles is negotiations about possible investment it's it's pentacles deciding um, discussing it with people that are skilled or learning a new skill learning something new about finances and how to invest and then waiting for your fruits to bear fruits um, that will be coming through because you you plant the seeds and then you wait for the fruit to come and saying that um, the fruit is there, it's not yet right to pick but it, it will be the fruits and it will be abundant fruit, it is a seven, but not just yet. I'm going to ask for you to clarify that with the oracle card and uh, to give us further enlightenment just to give us better clarity on each of these ca categories and this is for Sagittarius for the month of the eight. Thank you, Spirit. Beautiful cards. Beautiful cards. Okay, so there we go. In your love and relationship, alchemy, and I think one of the other signs also got this card, and I do shuffle these cards. Absolutely shuffle them. And it's saying that you have the Midas touch right now. So the finances, and yeah, you're pretty stable that side. You have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. So yes, if you if you accept the offer that you could possibly miss, this could be a very, very successful relationship. If you're in a relationship and you feel that it is not satisfying or there's something that's not fulfilling in it, um, if you put your time and energy in it and make the choice that you need to make, you will be blessed and it will turn to gold. It doesn't necessarily have to be about the money because... We are nothing without love. Love is all. Love is what our foundation and um, happy home, happy life. And um, that's what it says. You alchemy. It's like the magician card. You've got it in your hands. You've got it all there. All the elements are there um, to make this really what you want and uh, work the way you want it to work. That's fulfilling. Then in work and career, um, where you had the competition stabbed in the back, something stagnant, uh, whether it was a promotion that didn't come through or uh, a job you applied for or competition for something um, that wasn't fair. Yeah, um, It's saying that heavens, you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results yet. Now, isn't that beautiful? After feeling betrayed, that spirit is coming forward and saying um, that you're being helped. Very much so, um, even though you don't see it, heaven is there behind the scenes. And um, you will get what's fair and just. Um, life is a cycle and um, the wheel does turn. We can't always be at the bottom forever. Uh, the wheel does turn. And then... For uh, finance and investments, it says empowerment. And there we have the world card as well, stepping into this new world, getting the skill or negotiating about it, or, and then waiting for the fruits to the investment to bear the fruits. And it's saying empowerment. It says that you're more powerful than you realize, and it's safe for you to be powerful. So um, I'm going to read that to clarify it more and to give reverence also to 
to the right hand. And it says here that this card, the empowerment card, confirms that your inner power wants to surface. You use this power pro just hold on. I apologize for that, Sadie. Okay. Um, there was a knock at the door. Um, and you start it again. It's empowerment. And it says that you're more powerful than you realize. And it's safe for you to be powerful. And it says this card confirms that your inner power wants to surface. You'll use this power appropriately. And you're incapable of abusing it. Your true friends and the people who really love you will be happy that you've taken your power back. Empowerment means that you're no longer willing to see yourself as a victim in any way. It means letting go of all blame with respect to other people, past conditions or present circumstances. Know that you can be powerful and gentle simultaneously and still be very effective. So it's saying that you need to affirm frequently that it's safe for me to be powerful. I accept my God-given power to be used in the service of light and love, then enjoy the, uh, the shifts and see it, you see around you. Instead of worrying what others think about you, use your power to make the world a better place. You may never feel self-conscious again.